If you didn't know already, this is the Memphis Belle, a B-17F model World War II bomber built in Seattle, Washington in 1942. Boeing gave her a serial number of 3470. The U.S. Army Air Corps gave her a number of 4124485. She officially joined the U.S. war effort on 15 July 1942 and received her crew of 10 airmen. Less than two months later, in September of 1942, the new airplane and crew touched down in Bangor, Maine and became part of the 91st Bombardment Group. Wasting little time, the group flew to Britain in late September reaching their permanent base at RAF Bassingbourne, England on 14 October 1942. She was put to work flying deep into Germany to attack the enemy. She faced aggressive fighter attacks and angry black clouds of anti-aircraft artillery fire. The Memphis Bell was one of the lucky ones. Somehow, in just eight months, she had brought her crew back safely from 25 missions. Quite an accomplishment, since most never made it that far. On 8 June 1943, the Army sent the plane and crew back to the United States. They spent the remainder of 1943 on a war bond tour. When the tour wrapped up on 23 December 1943, the airplane went to McDill Field in Tampa, Florida, where she was used to train air and ground crews until May of 1945. The war was ending, and B-17s were suddenly no longer needed, and the Army viewed the Bell as just another surplus aircraft. On 01 August 1945, she was flown to Altus, Oklahoma for eventual scrapping. She received a stay of execution from the mayor of Memphis, Tennessee. The city bought the aircraft and flew it to Memphis in July 1946. Unfortunately, her life wasn't going to get much better. Initially, the city stored the airplane, but by mid-1949, the aircraft was on display outside the Tennessee National Guard Armory, where she slowly deteriorated from the effects of weather and vandalism for nearly 40 years. The bomber was moved to Mud Island on the Mississippi River in 1987, where it was displayed under a large tent-like tarp structure but still remained outside, open to the elements, and continued to deteriorate. A glimmer of hope for a proper restoration began to appear in the summer of 2003. The aircraft was disassembled and moved to a restoration facility at the old Naval Air Station, Memphis. But funding was thin and progress slow. Finally, on 30 August 2005, plans were made to return the airplane to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. She arrived in pieces mid-October 2005 and restoration began in earnest. It took 13 years, but the job was done in 2018. The aircraft had been meticulously restored to its May 1943 configuration. The plane's journey had been long and arduous, but on 17 May 2018, the Memphis Bell moved into her new home here in the World War II Gallery at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. She looks spectacular, an absolutely beautiful, timeless-looking aircraft.